so is that better? Look, there's my oct, and here's as much zybin as I've had is this little stitch in the middle called Alexander James, um, who is my love child, let's call him, um, with Hitler, which is what I call him, from Niklaus Hitler, because, I mean, if you're a Henderson, <laughs> Harry and the Hendersons, no, we're just gonna leave Harry out of it, because between Harry Potter and Harry and the Hendersons, it gets really difficult to explain how I am not, uh, in competition with Mary Poppins that sits in a little boat and has all of her chimney sweeps dance for her effect at the carnival. Yeah, I'm not her. Uh-uh. I'm the opposite of her. I'm the actual black operation that Mary Poppins caused, being Elizabeth II. Uh, and all her merry men that dance all over the chimney tops with soot on their face and get nothing accomplished. So, um, here we are at, uh, I, Jim Henson is more like it with his puppets and muppets, right? They all have funny names, doesn't really matter. It's Elmo, it's Oscar the Grouch, it's Elmo the Red Annoying, like, nah, 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 nah one that uh, Benjamin seemed to be enamored by for some reason. He could watch him for hours. I think Haley liked him better, but whatever. That's And then there's like, um, here's this thing for all of you that don't know. Uh, when Zion's, uh, well, especially our parents, uh, they created a thematic um, for our honor, uh, being that we are the pair that come and have extra special purpose, doesn't matter the religion, we've been doing it for whatever. When we come, there's serious stuff that needs to be addressed. Not like a crown, and there's a big fight and a wrestle. Not supposed to be like that area of stupid in human dramaville. Uh-uh. We have like real family, like, we have real stuff. Um, like the whole earth atmosphere and the dimensions that you live in are swaying. And you don't know how to feel it or that's why you need someone who's a Zion, who is a little more hypersensitive, but also, um, I guess you say a professional? Like, you wouldn't, like, they're not the crazy, like, I'm gonna go do Hiawatha in the woods and live there and eat hot dogs and hamburgers. Although, those people are fine. I'm not going to judge them or say anything bad about them. I just know, mention, they exist. I'm not one of them. Um, but I'm also not one of your urbanites that enjoy the theatrics of everybody getting naked in a Cirque du Soleil just for my appearance. Uh, I did not ask for it, I did not want it, but yet you forced me into this. So now, um, I belong in Henderson with the names that shift and move, as do the characters, that doesn't matter, our inner whatever, our morphology is our morphology. Our anthologies are, uh, at the moment, a problem, and our theology was correct. That's it. Um, so that should be good for my Ulrich. Uh, hey, Ricky, it's Lucy. Yeah, the people in the shitbag that we're trying to correct and cajole and console and pretend like we don't call them shh in the bag. Right, yeah, those guys. What is it? I don't know. It's an it. It's a sh it. I don't know. It's in the bag. What do you want me to say? They're all in there together. They're very loud when you go in. You have to know what you're going to say and then demand that, that out of them. Right, yeah, no, I get, I get that. I get that, Ricky. Okay, so I'm no longer a Soviet size 4. I'm now a Soviet size 42. I look like they banged me up in the bag with a crowbar really bad. You know, it looks like they did construction on my face and my body in a way that Zybin is not going to be happy in Henderson about. Right, yeah, they asked me for names. I don't know what to tell you. I have a lot of names. It depends on the, the eye mage that him and I are in as we try to get around all the shit in the bag. And then the pole has to go, listen, 
there's a reason why we, I mean, it was innocent when it started. It was just private chamber, like, shh, it, it's an I and a cross. I mean, it's one, it's a Roman numeral one, and then the cross, because there's the signa, or the signus from the stars, it's an it, right? I mean, uh, eat, right? I mean, eat all e, it starts that way, so it's eat, and then it's shh, now it's shh, eat. Right, got it, Shh, it, right, got it, and it's in a bag. Another, I mean, the color happens on this one to be like, I don't know, a toasted caramel, uh, maybe a Melba toast, I don't, does it matter? Like a hard, maybe oak, look, oh look, it blends into the hard oak floor when you have a shellac on it, is that better? If I tell you that, it goes from high yellow to orange to brown, I mean, Who's asking these things that really get angry? Oh, is it the Big Nose Club? Mm, yeah, I know. They were a problem. Uh, there was a Peter and Sarah, right? Yeah, he didn't have a big nose. He was mad, though, that someone made reference that he looked like he was the color of a Lebanese guy. And that makes angry the Jews with the big nose that are in the white club. Uh, like a Nick Lyuzio, right? Yeah, and the Peter, and uh, the Peter, um, Romer, uh, Bobby Romer, <laughs> those guys with the big schnozzle. <laughs> you are always mad at Henderson for the wrong shitbag reasons, assholes. I got a lot. I got the ones that don't want to be called lemonese, then they meet the guys that are a little dark, and they're like, why don't you want to be lemonese? Come on, I mean, what's so great about being a white Greek? Don't you want to be lemonese? I mean, we both share moussaka. Uh, right, yeah, okay, so you do that on the friendly, happy, like, you know, we get together, guys. But uh, I still have a problem because you beat me with a crowbar. Uh, there was a girl by the name of Kathy Gorman, K-A-T-H-Y-G-O-R-M-A-N, lived in a red house, looked like a barn, in Wanta. I don't know. I think she's on the border, Levittown Schools. Anyway, uh, anywho, she was at Merrill Lynch and she was the assistant for Peter and Sarah while I was interning. Go figure. Um, she invited me out one night to some like dance club, music club, whatever. It just opened. I don't know. They call it the Palladium? Or was it a maybe another version of a limelight. It had a radio tower on the top of it, and it looked like a Planet Hollywood sign in the middle, like a Earth ship kind of a thing with a antenna, right? It was right off of 495 Long Island Expressway, if you know where that is. It was like in an industrial park. Anyway, she drove me there. I drove to her house. She drove me there. I met her parents. Something about Air Force. I don't know. And then we went in the club. Uh, we were there, I was with her, she's much, well, she was, I guess, 10, 15 years older than me, whatever, um, and then there was, like, nobody in there, or at least they didn't notice anybody, and then she fell down the staircase, uh, she tripped, anyway, it was a very long, like, gone with the wind staircase, and on the way down, she was just walking, 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 and she tripped in and fell halfway down the rest of it, right, yeah. I don't know if that was a dimensional slip, because I think that someone important was supposed to be there, but again, never showed. Uh, but Kathy felt the effects of the slip on the way down the staircase, because she was doing fine, wasn't drinking anything, and then, whoops, there goes that physics project again of like, why aren't you letting us together? Oh. Right, okay, so yeah, Kathy Gorman took Henderson, being Nicole Cataruza, I think I was under the Romer title, trying to get away uh, back then, um, and then I heard that Peter split from Laura, that was his wife back then, and now Kathy and Peter are together as a couple, I don't know, are you guys babysitting each other like this fucking McDonald Moore problem I got going on after the fucking Yahtzee Nazi Romer with the fucking big schnozzola and like he's why and he doesn't, I mean they're like the bad Nazis, right, yeah, got that, okay. So, uh, I really still don't care, uh, I don't know why words bother you all so much in stupid and emotional, uh, there's still like one thing, like the breathing apparatus, yeah, the most important, right, yeah, that goes with getting me into the special area of operation, because here's the thing, we have funny Henderson names for you all, that's how we organize you, usually the top tier who are in the know, they don't care, because we put the letter, like shit bag, we put together, it makes sense, shh, it, I don't know what's in the bag, I mean either, it doesn't matter, we still have to save it, we have to be good to it, yeah, got that, okay, then why is it so mad that we call it shit bag? I don't know. 
Uh, what are you telling your people? Like, are you telling them the full story? Like, they are shit in a bag. Like, they don't say anything. They don't know anything. Or they do know anything, and then they don't say anything. And then it gets harder to manage. I don't know. Uh, Ricky, it's Lucy. I hear McCormick, or McCormick is almost 90 years old. How about that guy, John Paul? Is he any good? Uh, is it time to call in, like, maybe, like, a out of league? Like, can you put somebody else in? Maybe, like, an all-star? I... Jesuit, I don't know. I'm just asking, you know, call me crazy, but I'm still looking for what I was born for. I got real work to do, and these humans, they get in the way, and then they get really angry.